Hello and welcome to a quick update on um, the AtPoll uh, software. And what uh, what uh, we received in 6.4 included some additional capabilities, in particular in relation to setting some of the alarm conditions and uh, torque. So I'll uh, do a quick review of those. Um, for the settings, you want to go to File, Setup Options, and then uh, you want to make sure, well, once you've selected it, it's, it's uh, already selected, but uh, you want to make sure that you've selected that uh, you get additional features. Uh, another thing that you will find uh, in here is that uh, you have different colors, of course, but the new one is this under Alt Test, EMP, page 3. You select that, and here you can start setting al your alarms for current deviation, voltage deviation, um, and then as well your harmonic distortion limits for current and voltage uh, that will call up your different alarms in your reports. This is nice because uh, prior to this you did not have the ability to set any of the alarms. Another feature uh, that has been added includes the ability to take a look at torque as well as uh, tracking by looking at what the different frequencies are that were selected um, by the um, by the software so these are where the cursors are for the different uh, things and then also here is the alarm settings or the alarms that were detected uh, different values and so on um, when I do look at torque, you now, you did have in 6.31 the ability to take a look at the torque graph. There's a slight difference here and that I can now um, begin uh, taking a look at um, uh, zooming in on particular areas that I'm interested in. And then, of course, this here. There's some work I think that still needs to be done here, but it will look at foot pounds and different frequencies and so on, which uh, which is uh, very useful. That's what I was doing before, particular with wind turbines and VFD applications such as this particular one. So that being said, the other capabilities are still there. The ability to change things such as speed and pull pass frequency. Uh, and then going up into my high frequency display, notice there's some changes there too. I'm still looking at those, uh, but here I'm still able to do the rest of my analysis. VFD, of course. Um, and then finally, um, the header has some changes as well, and that I can go in and uh, select specific things, including auto finding stuff, not noticing that's reciprocating equipment so it ignores certain repetitive uh, frequencies. Uh, of course, uh, the addition of the addition of uh, DC equipment and generators, uh, bearing information, and then the usual stuff. In any case, uh, that's a quick overview of some of the additions on the improvements to uh, version 6.4. For additional questions, see, please, uh, please see my um, presentation on this software overall. Uh, these are just the additional features. Thank you very much.